There were last minute changes and scrapped plans on AEW Dynamite this week. Plus, we have an injury update on Hangman Page and WWE could be working with a Hollywood legend at WrestleMania 40. It's all in the Cultaholic Wrestling News right now. If Dynamite felt a bit wild and woolly on Wednesday, well, that's for good reason. It was. What's the story, Andrew? So this comes from Dave Meltzer, and he said that this week's AEW Dynamite might face a lot of last minute changes and rewrites due to a series of issues behind the scenes. He revealed that Sting was scheduled to be a part of the show, but his father had passed away, which led to the angle featuring Ric Flair going to the Young Bucks locker room as a way of keeping that storyline moving along. It wasn't just Sting that was meant to be a big part of Dynamite this week. Jeff Hardy was meant to be as well in what is described by the Observer as a key role for this week's show. However, he was unable to compete because as we know last week, he broke. He had his nose broken yes. in that match with with Sammy Guevara, mm -hmm. so he wasn't cleared. He was written off the show this week, as well as staying. Yeah, someone else who wasn't cleared to compete either was Trent Beretta, who was scheduled to face Orange Cassidy, but an injury angle saw him re uh, replaced by Mike Bennett. But Meltzer reveals that Beretta isn't actually injured, he's just ill, and therefore wasn't cleared to compete. Dave Meltzer adds, I was told it was very chaotic backstage, and the reason they didn't announce anything ahead of time is because so much of what they wanted to do, they didn't know if they'd be able to do it. The show had a disorganized feeling because, well, it really was disorganized. Uh, it's, it, it did give that energy. Especially, I believe there was maybe only one or two matches announced and usually on Dynamite, you got you got the graphic uh, on Twitter, Tony Khan tweets it out. It's oh, got yeah. all the matches on there. Usually wasn't the case this week, uh, but yeah, they definitely scrambled together to get some stuff keep the momentum going for some stuff, especially heading into Revolution, which is next week as well. And one of those key matches for Revolution, Hangman Page versus Swerve Strickland versus Samoa Joe for the AEW World title. A match that was somewhat in question after Dynamite as Hangman Page landed badly on a muscle buster and rolled to the outside. And then we have uh, uh, footage of him being asked not to be filmed. And we have a series of updates on that now. Yeah, we do. So initially, Dave Meltzer and Brian Alvarez reported on Wrestling Observer that Page had suffered a suspected broken ankle, putting his status for the Revolution match up in the air. Now, soon after, though, Fightful Select reported that Hangman was fine once he got backstage. Fightful are reporting that this was indeed an angle, so one source told Fightful, yeah, he's okay, he's just good at his job, <laughs> which he absolutely was. Uh, it's possible that this is being used to write Hangman off of the Revolution card for another reason, but that's yet to be confirmed. Uh, Observer have corroborated that in a U turn visible from space saying <laughs> that uh, this injury angle potentially gives Hangman an out if he can't compete at Revolution. We mm -hmm. don't know the full reasons as to why, but in the event that he can't make it, then you can use that story uh, to get him out of the match as well. So Fife will put this report out where they reveal, you know, that, that he's actually okay. Uh, one person that took uh, great, uh, great umbrage with this was AEW agent Jerry Lynn. And Jerry Lynn quote retweeted the report from Fightful with the caption, this shouldn't even be announced. God forbid we have a cliffhanger for next week. <laughs> I, I, can, I can feel the frustration as Jerry's writing that. I mm. do get it. It's, I, I, it's, you know, of course, when he lands like that and the way he does, of course, we're going to dig into it and find out that bit more because it looked like a very legitimate injury yeah it did for sure and also with you know with the idea that this could either lead either lead into story angle stuff and put sort of hangman page in jeopardy of whether he's even going to get to the match or if it just covers for something perhaps like maybe that's happening in page hangman page's life where he can't maybe make the match itself maybe something personal you know like there's two very different things there that, that you could use for that and perhaps you don't want either of them coming out to then spoil the surprise or keep safe whatever Hangman Page might have going on or whatever, you know? Yeah, the other person that was had some injury concerns over them as Dynamite ended was Madison Rain. She faced Diana Perrazzo and took an STO where she landed right on the top of her head. There was a lot of concern for her. Uh, we know a bit more, don't we? Yeah, she gave an update following that rough bump on Dynamite and she said, I'm okay. Thanks so much to everyone who's celebrating 
celebrated my dynamite return and those who checked on me afterwards. To those who have never stepped into a ring but tweeted awful things at me with zero knowledge of what actually happened, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Kill him with kindness. Get that is how you smoke him. Glad she's okay. So yeah. we kind of left dynamite with two real concerns for, for two talents, and it seems as if for one they're okay, and for the other, it could be a little bit of uh, smoke and mirrors. Yes. Oh, very good. To keep us guessing heading into the end. Uh, we got Elimination Chamber on the horizon tomorrow at 9 a.m. GMT. This gorgeous Yorkshire Aww. Terrier uh, is going to be on with Isle of Wight's own Adam Pacitti on the Cold Dollar YouTube channel uh, for, it's like Saturday morning breakfast telly, hey, isn't it? It's meant, right, so Adam was like, oh, do you want a few, should we have like a few drinks or whatever? And I was like, yeah, that sounds nice. Are you on Aussie time? I, I swear down next door, there's just a fridge full of Corona in there. <laughs> Are you le you're legit on Aussie time. So we're on Aussie time, Fantastic. big time. We're on Aussie time. So uh, come and have a couple of beers with us, d despite what time of uh, day it is for you. Come and have a couple of drinks and enjoy the chamber with us. Oh, I, I, I think you're gonna have a lovely time. Uh, when you get a chance today as well, do check out later on nine pitches, uh, predictions, and uh, what happened at and WTF moments to come after Elimination Chamber as well. And after Elimination Chamber, is WrestleMania 40. Oh, we are on the road. We're well on the road at this point. Slightly bumpy for a while. Uh, the Rock jumped in the car at one point, and <laughs> I think he's staying for the rest of the journey, to be honest. I bet he won't put in any money for petrol. <laughs> uh, but we're on the road to WrestleMania. WrestleVotes gives us this, and I must admit, I'm intrigued. Mm. Sources within WWE indicate there is interest in collaborating with Sylvester Stallone. Adrian! for WrestleMania in some form. While any communication status is unclear, I'm told there is hope for it. Ah. Now, now, the first thing that sprung to mind, a few people put this online, is you have Sly Stallone voice the package at the start. Yeah. Because, you know... Oh, he's... Philadelphia. Exactly. Oh, Rocky. His famous film. That Cl makes sense. Cliffhanger. Cl <laughs> <laughs> His famous film. Demo Predator. Demolition Man. Oh, yes, that one. A any other Sly films? Uh, think my favourite Sly film, Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah, very good. <laughs> he was very great. Good <laughs> Uh, I think that'd be great. Who was he in Home Alone? Uh, he was Kevin John, McAllister. He was, <laughs> he was Kevin McAllister and John Candy. Yes. Tell you what I liked him in. Um, I liked him in Big. I d Wait, that's the one with Tom Hanks. No, sorry, it's not the best one. Uh, this, could be great. In this could be great because, yes, like, as you said, you could have, you know, I what I can imagine is obviously with this being a big WrestleMania, Cody's big match, him <clears> doing the little, him doing the Rocky. Uh, the rocky thing and running up the steps Ooh, and everything. Oh, think he you know? can still? Yeah, uh, what? No, I said Cody could do oh, that. Oh, I thought you meant yeah, Rocky. Yeah, like a little homage. <laughs> oh. Rocky just cheering him on from behind, like... Oh, yeah, oh he's at the top waiting to meet him, just put his arm around yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is yours. Now. I think that could work. Uh, what about Hall of Fame, maybe? I guess he's, I mean, he's got, he's got chops as, in terms of like, he's got a bit of a wrestling history mm -hmm. of that famous battle he had with Thunderlips in the Rocky yeah. movies. <laughs> yep. Him and Hogan have some beef. Uh, he's a nice addition to the Celebrity Wing Hall of Fame. Yeah, Sliced sure. alone. Yeah. Oh, that's quite nice, that is. Uh, lots of options there. So possibly a video montage there, possibly voicing the package at the start, possibly just throwing Thunderlips again, just for good <laughs> measure. Uh, or doing, uh, or, you know, maybe doing something crazy crazy and wacky like he did when he played Spider-Man in Avengers Infinity War. That is my That's favorite. my favourite Sly Stallone film. <laughs> uh, we'll have more wrestling news, of course, throughout the day, as you'd expect, at cultaholic.com. Keys, keys! I love you, bye.